Thank you, thank you. So I would absolutely agree with the previous speakers. I think we as a UNEP family, we've gotten very good feedback and insights uh, from the panelists. And also I want to thank uh, the participants. Um, the messages that came out clear and resonate very well with me is the need to have campaign. It's not about our calendar, but it's about a campaign and this requires partnerships. So I take that wholeheartedly. Uh, we need to get out of our bubble, uh, stop talking to the scientists and um, uh, engage uh, in different ways. We need to simplify and humanize our stories. And uh, I like uh, the saying in Kiswahili, kutoka kwa kakangu moja, and I would add, you know, anasema mcheza kwao hutunzwa. So we have to start here. Um, I think for me, if you look at a huge comparative advantage that your uh, professional community has, if you look at the history of our cultures, of Africa culture, it's about oral history. It's about using human examples, very simple to pass on the message. And when I reflect on environmental issues that we are dealing with, most of them are about changing behavior or making different choices from policy, but also at human level. So I think um, uh, I know I'm speaking on behalf of the team that uh, has worked on this. We will reflect and come back to you with uh, suggestions one of the key uh, colleagues uh, for this event is uh, Mohamed Atani, who um, is in charge of our Africa communication portfolio. So I will follow up with him. There was a question from Faith and Dora regarding SDGs. Look, what I would say, it builds on what others have said. If you look at the difference between MDGs and SDGs, SDGs is a menu of options for everybody, including media. So it's very inclusive. And what that means in terms of working on knowledge and cultures, particularly locally, whether it's um, putting together documentaries, one, because of the limited resources of UNEP, we, we have to depend on, on partnerships such as with your community. I think two, building on what uh, others have said, if we want our communication, our documentaries to be relevant and human, we even have to go down and be humble and simplify and humanize our story. So one is partnership. We do have some resources. We can mobilize some resources, but I cannot promise, given that we have 54 countries in Africa, we can do everything that is required. But we are committed, especially because we are headquartered in Kenya, to actually work across Africa. So I want to just uh, thank you all, and um, you can count on our uh, on our commitment. If you do come to Gigiri, please uh, stop by once we are all uh, unlocked from our COVID-19, but also use my African uh, team colleagues, uh, led by David Ombisi, Mohamed Atani, Levis, who did a lot of heavy lifting on this, to give us feedback, because we can only be relevant and effective if we hear honest and constructive feedback from you on how we can be better. So thank you very much to all. Over to you, George. 